so welcome to this video and uh, hi my name is Zan and you're watching Zan Tingle Learning and today in this video I'm uh, I'm going to discuss about the support assist functions and the support assist uh, features and the functionalities so support assist is a very good application in the Dell machine how you find that generally what happens when you purchase any Dell machine so by default you get one application which is a which is a very good application for just a routine checkup for your machine you do not have to do what uh, exactly the technician performed on your machine to speed up your machine to enhance the performance or to boost to the performance of your machine all these steps Dell has uh, you know uh, Dell has uh, comprises in one application so you need to just look for the application which is a support assist and I like to use it because it is a very wonderful application so simply you have to just uh, hit the enter uh, how you are gonna open it up if you don't know anything about it then uh, you need to go at the left hand side very bottom there's a search icon in the search icon you need to type support S U P P O R T support I, I got it it is a support assist now hit the enter when you hit the enter you will see this page you need to just click at the bottom there's an arrow pointing towards downward and uh, so these all the layout you will be getting on your machine when you are going to open the support assist application so let me just uh, take you through the application the first thing this is the service tag so whenever you call to uh, call to the Dell technic technical support you can let them know this is a service tag uh, and the technician will be happy to help you if you do not know anything about it like if you don't don't know about the the information about the machine like the service tag or the exp uh, or the express code everything is given here right here do you see that yeah so this one is the express code or this one is a service tag if you are going to give the service tag or the express code to the technician they will be able to fetch your machine's information and they will be uh, able to help you this is the first thing the second thing I'm going to talk about this is a profile where you will see your the, your profile details you can complete your profile so that the Dell technician will be having your contact information your shipping address and etc etc all the information they would be having so this is another thing and now all there's a three tab over right here so what it's all about the first one is the home and the second one is the troubleshooting and the third one is the history and the fourth one is the get support and I'm going to talk about the Git support first. So Git support is the application where you can share your uh, remote with the Dell technician or you can uh, create a request with the Dell uh, support assist. If you want to let them know the Dell technician, your machine is not doing good. If you are facing any problem, Dell has provided very good option. You have to simply click on create a request where you will see a page where you have to fill it up your uh, problems and, the, and, and uh, your concern. Dell technician automatically is going to call you as per your suggested time. So this is a very good thing. And the second thing is the start remote session. So if you want to share any remote session with the technician, simply you have to hit on start remote session. So you can share the remote uh, you can uh, share your screen with the Dell technician and they will be helping you so generally what happens there are certain scam is going around and uh, people are uh, you know making fool and they are charging some money so if you are sharing the remote with the Dell technician always ask them to connect me through this option all right so this is the best way uh, no any other person will be having the request only the Dell technician will receive a request when you click on a start a remote session let me click on it and let me show you up there's no active Dell remote assist session this is showing why because when you will talk to the technician the technician will initiate the remote session for you and there will be a remote session when you hit hit on it when you hit on it so what will happen you will directly connect it to the technician and uh, this is a very good features I like it and uh, this is the sharing the files or sharing any documents with the technician now let's come to the home page so home page is a is a very crucial tab I mean I would say all the functionalities the first functionality is the get drivers and download so if you get any drivers and download uh, if you get any driver up updates so simply you, you have to click on updates it will give you all the available updates you can select all of them or you can select individually you can uncheck it and individually you can select it and then click on install button this is right here on the right hand side very top 
all right so this is for update and uh, let's uh, go back to the page again and this is the hardware scan so if your hardware is not doing good let's suppose your charger is not working your motherboard is not working or your ram is uh, not uh, functioning properly or your hard drive you have a two hard drive the one hard drive is not working which is the hdd is not working or ssd is not working so it will let you know uh, if there's any problem going with your machine and the third tab is for if you click here run it will uh, what it is going to do it is going to uh, do you see that it will remove all the temporary files and uh, the cluster files cluster file are just like a uh, junk files it will remove it will tune up it will tune up the performance it will clean up the files it will enhance the performance of your machine and also it is going to remove the unwanted uh, files from the registry and the th the fourth step is the optimize the network so it's suppo uh, let's suppose if we, you are using your machine with the sometime you are using with your wi-fi router and if sometime you are using with your uh, i would say with your mobile network in some cases you are enabling the hotspot on your mobile phone and you are connecting your machine to the mobile hotspot so what happens there is a uh, there's a confliction between the ip address so in that situation you simply run this uh, the optimize the network and it is going to refresh the IP address it is going to uh, you know the refresh your network and the fourth uh, you will be talking about this one this is a uh, the, the this is a six one uh, this is a virus scan I would not recommend you to go with this option because this is a, there's a kind of services if I click here so your let's suppose your service is not the premium my service is a pro support if you get the premium pro support service then you will get this option but you, again you have to pay a little bit more so why you will be paying it more so it's a better you can purchase an antivirus where in, in the antivirus you will be getting the lots of services rather than going with the premium pro support service so this option will be enabled if you uh, if you basically purchase the premium support service so it is a pro support they do not provide this kind of options so these all the kind of uh, you know the uh, the boost uh, the boosting steps of the boosting the performance of your machine or enhancing the performance but if i talk about some troubleshooting steps the second tab is the troubleshooting so if you want to do repair or if you want to do the backup or if you want to troubleshoot any specific piece of your machine or if you want to scan, scan the entire machine or if you have any if you are running with a blue screen i will let you know uh, uh, in our next video the blue screen issue which also happens in a some machine because uh, microsoft gets uh, you, know, you know gets uh, some kind of problems then the blue screen comes on the machine so pc running slow if you get this option you can also run this my pc running slowly there will be certain test yeah you have to click on run now and then this test test will be started so a couple of uh, things you will get it here under this i want to troubleshoot my pc so let's suppose if i want to troubleshoot any specific piece of the hardware hardware so there's a camera so let's suppose i want to troubleshoot my network card i would uh, i i would need to click here network card it is going to figure it out what's going wrong with my network card so this is again a very good uh, option i mean i like this service because couple couple of troubleshooting you can do it on your own as compared to you know going through the customers uh, care and then they will be routing to somewhere else and then then uh, you have to face lots of problems so it's a better you can directly do it from your own all right and the and the third tab let me cancel it up give me a moment i'm sorry i do not want to wait uh support assist all right here we go and uh, the third one i'm going to explain you guys uh, third one let me show you up uh, it is taking a little bit time all right it's open it up now all right now let me go it go to the bottom and then let me show you up the history so it is a uh, the terms uh, as the name suggests uh, the history is uh, kind of like whatever you have performed on your machine so these all the driver updates was done on my machine 
And uh, so these all the information, you can have it when you come to the history section. You can also go to the calendar and the calendar wise, you can check which all the services was uh, updated and what all the activities you have performed on your machine. All right, and uh, all right. So this is also talking about some kind of, uh, you know, the services which are running on your machine. So that's about it in this video. And if you have any suggestion or if you like this video, please do men mention in a comment section and please do like the video and uh, subscribe our channel. And uh, if you have any uh, anything, if you have any further issues or anything, you can mention in a comment section and we'll help you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video and we'll see you. Thank you. Thank you so much.